I'm Mercedes, and you're tuning in to Fee Metal TV. We're hanging out here with Richie Cavaletta from Insight. How's it going? Good to be back. Good to see you guys. Always Good a pleasure. Good to see you. Good to be home. Yeah. Very nice here, definitely. So Insight just did 62 shows in 75 days. How was that? Oh, uh, it was a it was a life experience that we've all dreamt about forever. You know, we had a goal set coming into this year with the album being released. We wanted you know to hit 200 shows this year, and we're off to a great start. You know, it's pushing towards our goal, and it, it, it feels nice to be able to try to strive for things that you all set as a band. And uh, it's just been gnarly. You know, we met so many cool people, so many cool uh, you know bands from each of these cities. Got to do Europe, UK, France. You know, Italy, Germany, Switzerland, just surreal. Definitely a great time. I'm sure it was just amazing to see all those places, you know. Yeah, I mean, we went to Stonehenge and the Redwood Forest and saw the place where Evil Knievel, you know, Snakewood came where he jumped the uh, thing, the rocket ship. And, you know, it was just a real great tour, sightseeing, you know, the four of us becoming great friends and playing good music and getting real tight. That's awesome. So what's next for Insight this year? Oh, we get about three weeks off, two and a half weeks, and then we're already back at it. Um, we start U.S. tours supporting uh, Anonymous Rock. They're from the U.K. They are absolutely incredible. And then also uh, Secrets of the Sky will be opening up, and they're you know one of the hottest new bands around mm -hmm. right now. And I think with those three on one package, people are going to have one hell of a show. So we're going to hit that up. That starts May uh, 11th in Sacramento, and then roll across the whole country again and keep going. I think it's uh, the U.S. until the end of June or July, and then we go over to Europe again. So it's it's going. It's going. That's so cool. Yeah, it's what we want to do, you know, so it's not a hassle or, you know, make us feel bad. How do you feel Insight has evolved since the slaughter? Oh, a lot. You know, the members have changed, you know, obviously. I think, you know, keeping the core of me and Kevin from those first two records really um, brought it out and up in hell with adding uh, Drew Tang, adding L and uh, Lennon Lopez on drums. You know, I think that combination of people, they were all looking for a band like this to show people what they're about and their music skills. You know, they've all been trying so hard in other bands and doing that and they needed a cool band to rock with and I needed great people to come in and make this band take the next level. And with them and Matt Hyde producing, I think you hear the growth in music, you hear the solidness of the unit, you know, at the live shows, it's all of us together hanging out with everybody that comes and it just really makes it fun. And I think the growth that we've experienced, you know, we still feel like we're entering our prime, you know, just, you know, ready to kill it. So it's fun. It's definitely important to have a band in sync when you're creating albums or anything. Without question. I think it's uh, to be friends and brothers, it makes it a lot easier. Definitely. What is the most important thing you want Insight to achieve, speaking of the evolution? Just keep growing and getting better and, you know, doing it our way. I think, you know, everybody out there has this vision of what they want us to be, you know, being that I'm, you know, a cavalier and, this, uh, this thing that kind of looms there, but we've always just gone out and done it our way, and I think if we continue to do that, it'll um, create an evolution for us that we are happy with and that we made happen, you know, because this has all been us. It's us putting the hard work and us putting our blood, sweat, our lives, our family on hold, everything before this band, so I think we just keep at it, and the, the songs will get better, the music will get even better, and I excited to see what that's like because it feels great right now. I'll be excited to see, you know, how you guys are in the future and everything. Definitely. I think we figured out our niche as far as what we like to play. You know. That's awesome. What is the most important thing you have learned about the music industry from your mom? Oh, God, everything. I mean, <laughs> from getting to a club and dealing with the promoter, dealing with catering, dealing with, uh, you know, the start of a show, times, getting there on time. Like, it, it's just endless, the things that I was able to learn from watching her do it. And, uh, you know, I, I'm so lucky because now I feel it's an obligation for me to come out on tour and not be a dick to bands, 
but always try to help rather than be that asshole guy that everybody thinks or wants me to be. I'm this cool guy that comes out and I just want to help these guys that are new into the touring world understand why these things happen and what to learn. So when they get a big tour, they show up the first day and they know what they're doing. They're going to be like, you know, that fucking band knew what they were doing and they're going to thank us because we were, you know, took the time to help them. You know, I think a lot of big bands don't do that. They make their crew kind of do it all. And we don't have a crew. It's us and the bands that we're with. So we try to take these bands that have never toured and really just guide them and help them and show them easy ways and, you know, little tricks of the trade that we've been, you know, handed down from, you know, Gloria and everybody we've been a part of. And, you know, she's a true inspiration for what I do and to work hard. And I love it. Yeah, you know, and when big bands get, like, big and famous out there, you know, and stuff, they definitely, they're not as nice to their fans. Yeah. You know, they'll, like, show them, hey, we got you there, you know. Yeah. And they, I, I think the, the problem there is obviously the multiplication of how many people it is then. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're at this level, you're playing, you know, a club show with 200 people. It's, it's easy for the four of us to go to a merch booth and really give everybody time. You know, when you're someone just huge playing a 20,000 seater arena, you know, it's, <laughs> it's not realistic to go out there and do that. But I think what their main objective is when they're that big is to really put on a great show for their fans and show that. You know, give a lot of appreciation during the night, you know, to let them understand that. But it, it's true as far as the other things go. You know, they're, they have nothing to really do all day but sit around and wait to play. You know, mm -hmm. so they could definitely take the time to go in the dressing rooms and tell bands what's up. I'm sure a lot of them do, you know, but we just find that a big thing for us to do because we have had that luck as well to be taught the things that we needed. What is the most valuable thing you have learned from Matt? Oh, to just never give up playing your style you know i think you know them coming from brazil you know he always felt that they had this thing on their shoulder to prove everybody wrong that they were a good metal band and i think that's what we've had you know i think it comes from max actually being my dad that I, we have to go out and show everybody that this is not max's band this is not something that he has his hands on or has built or put money into or made calls to any musicians to help us in any way you know it's been us hitting the pavement from day one and going hard and giving great shows every night and hanging with the fans you know i'm so big on that i make all my guys i don't care how tired they are how dead they are if they're hurt whatever you go from stage you go to that merch booth you hang out then you party and take care of your shit you know and that's the way it always needs to be for us and i think people will understand that and he's always just you know gave me the courage to keep going and you know always let me know that right and to not let people bring me you know down in the fear of being a cavalier you know I just gotta let it roll and that's the way life is that sounds like a really good lesson yeah definitely he's a great great uh great father you know a good dude recently Fee Metal TV showed a video I'd Rather You Me featuring someone special to you tell us about that oh you know she's uh she's incredible she's uh models she does singing she she can do everything and it's so cool and i love that she did this you know kind of as the time that we're you know planning a wedding and you know getting all that trying to go you know with touring as much as i am you know she's uh amazing you know to deal with that. that's a lot of tough times where i'm gone for 10 weeks at a time and home for a day and, you know we just got a new puppy and it's great, you know, we're going to spend three weeks now really planning the wedding out, which is going to be exciting. We're going to do it in December in Arizona, and, you know, she's uh, she's my rock for sure, and it's cool. And her music is great. I love every song she's done, all, you know, conspiracy, government, you know, really cool, trippy, you know, vocals, and I think it's great. Has she ever gone on tour with you? Yeah, I definitely have to bring her out. I don't bring her out for whole tours, but... You know, she's so busy with what she does and I'm so busy on tour that, you know, when she does come out, it's just, it's pandemonium because it's really hard, you know, I'm doing a lot of things and to give her the time that she deserves, you know, it's, it's frustrating for me, you know, but I do everything I can to spend as much time with her because, you know, it means the world to me and that's what we need to enjoy because we're both young still and we need to really uh, cherish that and build a relationship and, you know, FaceTime and the things that they have now are great, you know, Skype and so, so it makes it easier for us. Yeah, that, you know, that's important. 
especially with you being on tour and her doing her stuff, you gotta make sure you know. It's crazy. It's crazy. I just got home from ten weeks and she leaves tomorrow to New York and it's just it's nuts. But we, she has that hair wash thing. Yeah, right? yeah. She's been doing uh, mm-hmm. doing a lot of these and they're you know they're taking off and it's good to see. And she loves it. It's her passion. So I support it just like she just let me do for ten weeks. You know, so it's a it's a give and a take balance, which is what you gotta have. So when can we expect the next video to come out? Oh, we just put out, I think, the, the final video for this album. It was the Up and Hell lyric video. You know, that's three for this album. And we've never, you know, we've really had, like, one video ever, you know, mm-hmm. it was for Hopeless. So to have three for this record was a, a dream come true. And, you know, thanks to Brad Hardy and Linus Head for making that possible. And Robert Sexton who did What the Fuck and Fallen. And then... Joey Nugent from Arizona did uh, the lyric video for Up in Hell, which is out now. And it's really cool. It's about, you know, just how shitty everything seems to be around you. And, you know, it's just, it's really crazy. I think it's more a story of uh, the way people kind of think now. I think when, it, you know, it's like do what you want, say what you will. It's kind of just a free reign of whatever anybody wants to do. And it's just terrible. So that song is a good uh, expression for what's going down. Well, I love coming to all of your shows, so I cannot wait for the show tonight yes. and see, you know, you rocking out up there. It's going to be really uh, a culmination of a lot of hard work for this tour. So to be in the hometown, have great ticket sales, of all the friends, the family that's coming out, it's a, a wow, great way to end the tour. And let everything else that we have out on that stage tonight, it's going to be cool. You're going to see a great show. An hour and five minutes of just blistering craziness. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me. It was a pleasure to interview you. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for Fee Metal TV.